everyone, it's Anthony Coach, a guitarist on YouTube. Check me out on Instagram if you like that sort of thing. Paul Gilbert, no, I'm not here to put words in the mouth of Paul Gilbert, who is my hero, by the way. This is just a video of me talking about some observations that I've made over the years as his amazing music has progressed. Now, Paul Gilbert, as you probably already know, started off in Racer X and Mr. Big still, I think, is in Mr. Big. Yeah, they're still going. Anyway, this is not about those bands. This is about Paul Gilbert, the man himself, solo Paul Gilbert, comparing how he used to write compared with what's going on in his music now since the last three or maybe four albums. And this is about how his style is now, and how it, it uh, to me, appears that he's writing music now. So just to briefly go over those first few albums, I think he's on about 18 or 19 now, those first few albums, things like Alligator Farm, Flying Dog, and uh, the other one, can't remember, but that one, that other good one, he would sing. He's a singer, uh, quite a good singer, a really good singer. And then he'd showcase all his ferocious super fast playing that he is extremely famous for uh, and proficient at in those songs as a conventional rock song vocal solo vocal and some of the riffs the intros the outros you know rock you listen to rock music some of those would be really virtuosic as well then in the middle of his career so far he came out with these in my opinion the best trilogy of guitar instrumental albums ever uh, Get Out of My Yard, uh, Silence Followed by a Deafening Roar, and my personal favourite, Fuzz Universe, an album very close to my heart. Those three albums, pure, out there, technical, a bit proggy, very song-like, very melodic, basically a masterclass in guitar instrumentals. Anyway, let's fast forward a little bit because we're talking about Paul Gilbert as he is no. A few years ago he did this album called Stone Pushing Up Hill Man and on that album he is doing mostly covers of other people's music and he is playing the vocal melody and that is the main thing that I think that has changed Paul Gilbert's playing in the last few years. He's playing the vocal melody of really famous songs, Elton John, Earl Smith and loads of others. Check out the album if you haven't already. There is plenty of shred on there but I think that that was a pivotal moment in what Paul Gilbert has been producing recently because it, he embraced the slide. You might have seen that little magnetic thing that he's got on his fireman now. Again, I'm not putting words into his mouth. I'm not thinking that I think like him or anything. I'm just, this is what I reckon, that the slide is what most closely resembles a human voice when it's applied to a guitar. So he's playing those vocal melodies on his guitar and he's chucking the slide in there for that vibrato. Of course we can get vibrato without a slide, but he probably feels that he can get a more natural sound doing it that way. And that album, for me, in my opinion, is really crucial because since that album, you can tell that he's been writing lyrics for his instrumental music and then converting it to the guitar as a melody. He is writing the lyrics. He's taken that much attention to detail. He's not just writing melodies that could be sung, which is comparatively easy to do. He's actually taking the time out to write lyrics, compose full songs, and then play the melody as is, maybe a couple of times, but then as the song progresses to put in some of that shred stuff, create that excitement. I've got a couple of examples. First of all, I have actually a bit of evidence that I might be on the right track with this because on his album, Behold Electric Guitar, an amazing album, incredible album, there is a song on that called I Own A Building. And the opening phrase is ba 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 da dum, something like that that he plays on guitar. And you can just sing along. I own a building. Don't take my word for it. Let's watch this evidence that I've found. That this is the way that Paul Gilbert's writing these days. He's going to sing the melody first, entertain the audience, and then prove and then just play it on guitar. I own a building, and it feels so good to own a building. You 
can see there that he's doing it, isn't he? He's writing full lyrics. I don't know how full he does it. You know, does he write the verse chorus, then a different verse, and then a chorus, or does he just keep the same verse? Doesn't I don't know. On that same album, I've changed the background. It now says Paul Gilbert. Very annoyed that I forgot to do that at the beginning of the video. Anyway, on that same album, Be Old Electric Guitar, he has got this song called Let That Battery Die. It's incredible. If you've not heard that song, listen to that song. So much melody that could only come from someone who's trying to emulate the human voice. This latest album, Werewolves of Portland, more evidence that this is the way that Paul Gilbert is writing music, writing lyrics first, then putting the music to it, is he, he released a lyric video to an instrumental song, an argument about Pi. Should have a quick snippet of that. So you can see he's, he's written the full lyrics out and then composed the music to it. But listen to this, he's gonna vary it. Something that happened earlier in the song where it was just one long syllable, he's not just being boring and he's not just gonna play the melody as is, he's gonna embellish it and he's gonna put some Paul Gilbert shred into there. So he still brings in that 80s, 90s Paul Gilbert shred when he needs, when he, when he sees fit. It's so good, it's so good, and it's something that I really am excited to experiment with. It's a very interesting way of writing instrumental music. What do you reckon? Do you reckon I'm onto something there? Am I talking complete rubbish, as I often do? Who knows? Who cares? It's on the YouTube. I've been Anthony Couch, didn't do any guitar. Stick around, I'm gonna do loads of shred stuff, loads of shred licks. This channel is always evolving. Sometimes I just wanna talk about music because I love it so much. That's what I did today. Who's your favourite band? Who's your favourite artist? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. I always throw my plectrum away when I want to jam out while a little subscription thing pops up at the side. Uh, B minor, why not? Oh dear, this plectrum's horrible.